Exodus, the second book of Moses, chapter 39. And of the blue and purple and scarlet, they made clothes of service, to do service in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the effort of gold, blue and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires, to work it in the blue, and in the purple, and in the scarlet, and in the fine linen, with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it, to couple it together, by the two edges was it coupled together. And the curious kiddo of his effort that was upon it was of the same according to the work thereof of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they wrought oil stones encrossed in arches of gold, graven, as signets are graven with the names of the children of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was four square. They made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being doubled. And they set it in four rows of stones. The first row was a sardius, a topaz, and a cabco. This was the first row. And the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a linger, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a bear, an oxe, and a jasper. They were enclosed in arches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, everyone with his name according to the twelve tribes. And they met upon the breastplate chains at the end of wrathen work of pure gold, and they made two arches of gold and two gold rings and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate, and they put the two wrathen chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate, and the two ends of the two wrathen chains they fastened in the two arches, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the effort before it, and they made two rings of gold, and put them on the two ends of the breastplate, upon the border of it, which was on the side of the effort inward. And they made two other golden prints, and put them on the two sides of the effort underneath. Two at the fore part of it, over against the other cupolin tower of, above the curious ghetto of the effort. And they did bind the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the effort with a lens of blue, that it might be above the curious ghetto of the effort, and that the breastplate might not be lost from the effort, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the robe of the effort of woven work, all of blue. And there was an hole in the midst of the rope, as the hole of an habagion, 
with a band round about the hole, that it should not rent, and they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet and twined linen, and they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe, round about between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, round about the hem of the robe to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made coats of fine linen, of woven work for Aaron and for his sons. And a meter of fine linen, and goodly bonnets of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twined linen, and a gitter of fine twined linen, and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing like to the engravings of a sickness, holiness to the Lord. And they tied unto it a lens of blue to fasten it on high upon the middle, as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So did they. And they brought the tabernacle unto Moses, the tent, and all his furniture, his touches, his bolts, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets, and the covering of ram's skins dyed red, and the covering of barges' skins, and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony, and the steps thereof, and the mercy seat, the table, and all the vessels thereof, and the sheer bread, the pure candlestick, with the lamps thereof, even with the lamps to be set in order, and all the vessels thereof, and the oil for light, and the golden altar, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the tabernacle, the brazen altar, and his grace of brass, his staves, and all his vessels, the lava, and his foot, the hangings of the colt, his pillars, his sockets, and the hangings for the court gate, his coats, and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the congregation, the clothes of service to do service in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and his son's garments, to minister in the priest's office, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So the children of Israel made all the work. And Moses did look upon all the work, and, behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses pressed still.